Why is restaurant tofu always better than homemade? It comes out crispier, denser, more chew, bite, and they usually has a lot more flavor. What is it? Salt and oil. That's it. Well, that's not all of it, but that's most of it. When you were going to a restaurant, they were using more salt and more oil than most people use at home. Why is that? The restaurant's only goal is to make food that tastes really good, and taste buds know that salted foods and foods cooked in oil tastes really good. But like I said, that's not the whole picture of why restaurant tofu is better. Let me show you a few tricks to prepping better tofu at home that will mimic restaurant quality tofu dishes. First off, stop pressing your tofu. I made a video on this after testing the difference between pressed and not pressed. And the amount of comments I got sharing that in their country, outside of the United States, they never pressed their tofu to begin with. And as far as I know, restaurants are not pressing tofu. I've never seen a restaurant with a bunch of tofu in the back stacked up with pots and pans and books on top of them trying to press them to get the liquid out. I just, they just don't do it. But any tofu that is store-bought in water needs to be drained. I usually do this just by cutting a slit in the top of the package, draining it, giving it a slight press, a squeeze. I'm not talking about like total pressing here. And letting it sit on a paper towel for a minute or two just to make sure that all of the external moisture is soaked up. But to get that restaurant tofu texture and taste, there are a few things you can do. First method you can try is draining and freezing your tofu. This method will help the moisture release. When you freeze your tofu, the water forms ice crystals and expands in the tofu. That when it's thawed, the water will seep out, leaving a tofu that has more texture and less water, giving you that denser chew and bite. But again, not all restaurants are freezing their tofu. The second method to try, salting. Salted tofu will help draw up more water, which will give you a better and more even fry and crisp. And when seasoned, you're gonna end up with a much more flavorful tofu because of the salt. You'll want to drain and salt your tofu for at least two hours and then brush off any of the remaining salt on the top of the tofu. Then you can cube and cook exactly how you would like. Now tip number three is when you're in a hurry and you don't want to salt or freeze your tofu. You can boil it. Now this sounds a little odd, but this tip not only preps your tofu to be fried better, but boiling your tofu in salted water will also flavor your tofu while helping it firm and create a better crust when fried or pan seared. Now why is this? That's because boiling in salted water actually helps remove some of the moisture. I know that sounds odd. First, block up your tofu, then add a few tablespoons of salt to boiling water. Turn off the heat and immediately add your tofu and let it sit for 20 minutes. That's it. Remove the tofu to a paper towel lined rack, pat dry, then season. You're ready to eat right away, or you can cook it further by pan frying, creating again a better crispier crust and texture. Now, I wanted to weigh the three to see which one reduced the most amount of liquid in the tofu, and surprisingly, check this out. The boiling one actually had the least amount of liquid. Now, that doesn't take away from the fact that any one of these three methods is going to work to produce a better tofu. Now, those are just a few ways to prep your tofu. But once they are prepped, how are you cooking them to make them better? Like I said earlier, frying is a great way to get really great tofu, but most people simply don't use enough oil. When frying your tofu, you're gonna to wanna to use enough oil so that the oil comes up slightly to the sides of the tofu when you fry. You're also gonna to wanna to fry on a lower heat than you think, for longer than you think. This will make a huge difference in giving you a crispier crust and better bite, more similar to what you're gonna see in the restaurants. It's gonna be more even, it's gonna be better. Trust me, you're gonna love this. Now, if you're not keen on using a bunch of oil to fry your tofu, try air frying or baking. If your oven has a convection setting, that will help even more. Get a lightly oiled sheet pan warm in the oven and toss your tofu with a touch of oil and whatever seasonings or flavors that you wanna bake with. You're gonna to wanna to air fry or bake at 375 degrees for 20 minutes. That's gonna create a really nice crispy dense tofu that mimics something closer to like a restaurant with using a lot less oil than what they most likely do. Now, if you want the ultimate crisp, you were probably thinking, I need to batter this. But the problem with tofu is it's probably still filled with moisture and when you cook it, that moisture releases. And what happens when you fry something that is filled with moisture that needs to release? The breading gets soggy. Now you can cheat a little bit with some cornstarch and flour, but you just wanna make sure that it's not too densely coated. If the tofu is just completely coated from edge to edge on the outside, you might end up with kind of like a soggy coating. Just lightly toss in just a little bit of cornstarch. That's gonna kinda help suck up some of the external liquid, but also leaving room for some more of the moisture to evaporate while creating a super crispy tofu exterior. This is what you most likely see at a lot of restaurants when you're ordering a tofu dish. And that very light level of cornstarch coating is gonna provide a next level of extra crispiness. 
Hey gang, real quick, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor. It's pretty awesome. Z-Biotics is a probiotic drink that breaks down the byproduct of alcohol called acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde is the thing that's responsible for making you feel terrible the day after drinking. It's not dehydration. That's what I always thought it was. Last night, Monica and I had a date night, so we were pretty excited to give this a try. It's Sunday night, we're in our 40s, and we didn't want Monday morning to be ruined. All you do is drink one bottle of Z-Biotics before your first drink. Then all you do is just drink responsibly, pace yourself, and have a good night's sleep. And then you get to enjoy the next day feeling refreshed and ready to make the most of it. And we did! It seriously worked! It really worked! It did. It did. Z-Biotics produces an enzyme like the one that's in your liver to break down the acetaldehydes. It's vegan, no sugar, gluten, or calories, and they have a 100% money-back guarantee if you're not satisfied. This is real science that works. No random plant extracts, no off-the-shelf ingredients. It is legit. So gang, get 15% off your first order of Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic by clicking the link in the description below and using my code SAUSTASH at checkout. So go to zbiotics.com slash SAUSTASH and get 15% off your first order. Gang, you're gonna love this. It's great, it really works. I mean, you can't be when you can have a fun date night and a fun morning after. Thanks, Z-Biotics, for sponsoring today's video and allowing Monica and I to have a worry-free date night and many more to come. Now that we've been talking about the crispiness and how to salt it and how to get those textures just right, what about the flavor? You're probably thinking about marinating it. Now, I've done that test. Marinating just doesn't do much on its own. Even after 24 hours, it just doesn't penetrate enough of the tofu to make a huge difference. That's why most restaurant tofu is served in a thick, gooey sauce. So you're gonna wanna make a, st a sticky sauce. According to Deborah Madison's book, This Can't Be Tofu, she busts the myth about marinating tofu to give it flavor. Like I said in the last video about pressing tofu, tofu being called a sponge is really, it's just a lie. So now we need to flavor the outside of it, and that is best done with a sauce. Now there are loads of different sauces, but any sauce that you can make that will reduce and thicken will work really great. It's kind of like, it's glazing. But I really enjoy a simple soy with sweet chili sauce kind of glaze. The tofu will suck up all of those flavors while it's cooking, but then as the sauce is reducing, it's going to end up sticking to the outside, and that's going to give you way more flavor than marinating will ever do. But really, with tofu, the possibilities are endless. It's probably one of the most versatile foods. Now, if you want to learn about tofu and find some opinions that are probably different than mine, check out the Tofu Appreciation Society on Facebook. It's a great group with loads of different recipes and techniques.